السلام عليكم This is engineer Ziad al -Basir. A new video training for Primavera B6 Today we'll talk about Primavera B6 APPM web-based uh, software Now this one is really good The improvement done is really huge And I like it if you see here, of course, the dashboard, you want to customize it as you want. It has a very nice uh, coloring and options, whatever you really need and want in uh, uh, analyzing your portfolios and dashboards uh, presentation is, is available. And you can do a lot about it. Now, this is the typical one installed in the simple data. And I will, uh, I will talk about these details uh, step by step later on uh, however i want to open uh, the page one by one now this is a dashboard okay which represent whatever you want to represent in this dashboards you have it here by this portfolios okay and inside this portfolios you choose what uh, what presentation in the dashboard you want and you customize it as you want it you want it per cost, per location, per uh, any data in your database. You can do it. Simple, easy, straightforward. Of course, you customize this dashboard by user, by many users, or by global users. Uh, you want to customize it for just certain people. You do it for certain people so they can see it by themselves only. Uh, or you do it for a certain group or certain departments. So now... The main things which we like here in the 18.8 revision is no more jumping of Java update and asking us do this, do that, or stuck, or something like this. In this machine, I have it's uh, Windows 6, uh, Windows Pro, uh, Professional 10, uh, 8 gigabyte, 2.4 gigahertz, and uh, it's quite okay. It's a laptop. and. I noticed some slowing down when we shift in the big uh, tabs, but it's still good because I'm using SQL Server and database uh, inside it with the with the APBM and link also with the professional. So it's quite okay. It used about seven uh, gigabyte of the eight gigabytes I have. So if you would like to install APBM in one machine with a server. With a database server, then you you should use more than eight. Uh, maybe twelve will be uh, more comfortable. So now this is the dashboards, and it's customized as I said, based on the requirements. Then if you will get the view for the portfolios analysis, and here, and capacity planning for uh, resources and performance status, extra, extra, extra. Now this is the uh, typical ones done here. You can also customize it as you want. Okay, and again, this nice charts, nice views for big projects and portfolios. It's really what we need in such software in Primavera because we do the scheduling and we were missing such uh, features and uh, capacity and uh, uh, tools in our analysis. We had then to do it in Excel and doing stuff like this and transferring data between different platforms, which is not required. Now you can do it in one place and get your analysis and apply your strategy very simple in one place. I like it, that's, that's very good. If you go to the capacity planning, you will get a different view, okay? Which includes the projects, the project owners, and of course, you, you can customize it uh, as you want it, okay? Use the tables. Or use a, a Gantt chart as you want it. So here, current projects you can do all projects. Now, so there is some limitations on the in the rows numbers. I think by two thousand. So you 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 should be uh, careful in some base which uh, ask you about the limitation of, of the filtering. So you do some filtering to do your analysis. Performance status, for example, it gives you here. Um, the portfolio's status, if it is updated or not updated here, we didn't have it uh, updated. 
and if you go for uh, project by project, you will see the views be uh, WBS, and if there is an update, you will see what is uh, exceptional, acceptable, warning, critical. So you 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 do you do your uh, uh, analysis for the schedule, and you show it step by step. If you want to go deep inside the activities, you go to view. And it move you to the uh, activities uh, details, okay? And you see the activities here. Now this is another view. You go to the bird view and the uh, Gantt view as you want it, and move between them. So it's okay, like we had it in the uh, in uh, professional, okay? And you have the activities here, and you go for the details. Give you the details here. This is the milestones, and you go check one by one, and you see it's really fast moving eh? between the different uh, uh, activities. Or it, it, it is it's good. The the new upgrade from Oracle is really good in this regards. I appreciate it. That's really good. Okay, so this is for the projects. You have the activities view, you have the ABS view, which uh, includes all the projects in the typical uh, uh, enterprise project uh, structure. And here you have all, all the projects included as in our typical view as we need it and we know it all, okay? Of course, you can change uh, the setting of the Gantt chart, uh, time scale, make it, uh, for example, uh, year months. Uh, the same capacity we have before, month, week, and see the, how fast it's changing. That's, that's, really, that's really good. With the Jaffa tools, really a headache now. It's, it's really good. Okay? So the improvement is, is clear. Okay? And of course, this tabs, it's up to you to define if you want to show them here or you show some of them. This is administration tasks to, to do, and this is most of what we do it in the, in the, in the uh, EPS. Uh, now, because we change something, it asks us to save view or not. Okay, save it because I want it in this way. And then if I want to go to the team uh, usage, it will show us uh, the team for uh, the published uh, projects, which is uh, this one uh, in particular, because it's uh, the one who is opened, okay? And if you go to resources now, and you see here it gives us details about uh, how many hours they are working, how many units, okay? And uh, this is, you know, they are straight forward 40 hours, 40 hours full time here. So you will see nothing different in the chart for uh, all of them, actually. So that's 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 okay. Uh, let's go to the resources, for example, now, and we see what's the resources uh, details in the APPM. In the resources, you will see the resource ID, the resource name, the, you know, the same data we have it in the details of the resources tabs in uh, in the professional revision, of course. And of course, here the management is, depends on the administration you will have in the professional if you can add and manage resources or not. So you see uh, what you have as a privilege. So you have here the resources, details, then resource teams. In the resource teams, you will see uh, global resources and users' resources. Okay, if you have any users resources, you'll see it there, or you have a global ones, you will see it here. Of course, because it's just a new one, we have just the global ones, which is set it up, set it up here, and you'll see uh, the, the, the groups or teams, which is, for example, operation, business process, PMO, subcontractors, uh, whatever you, you define as teams, you will see it here. Okay, and of course, you have the rules and the uh, rule teams as, as you want. If you go for rules, for example, you will see the rules, the full uh, rules for the organization. So you, here you have, uh, for example, this one which I, I created, 
in the previous examples, if you view the, the other videos, you'll see that we created these resources as an example of calculating the overhead. And these uh, rules had been uh, exported and imported to, to the software here easily with no issues because the, uh, the admin has the privilege to do that. Now, if we go to the approvals, you will see here uh, it's regarding about uh, timesheets and approval of timesheets. And you have the privilege if, if you are assigned to do uh, the resource management as a resource manager, for example, or a project manager if it is two approvals uh, sites. And uh, you see a status updates if there is uh, uh, updates required here. And you will see if there is any requirement uh, held or pending to, to accept uh, and what projects. So uh, here, very nice uh, steps and clear for updating the timesheets. Of course, in the administration side, It is here where you control uh, everything as an administrator and some of these uh, features are not available in the uh, professional version. And here you can control the application settings, enterprise data, schedule services, US administration, user interface views. Of course, some, some of these are available in the professional, but not all of them. And it depends if you are admin in the professional or not. Uh, but for example, if we say users management is definitely, uh, it's not in, in the, if you, in the professional, if it is linked to this database as, uh, a, a client, of course you are, do, if you are doing a stand alone, depends on your database to see the users or not. If you are using SQLite, you will not see the users, uh, because you are one single user. If you are uh, doing it through uh, Oracle database or SQL database, then you will see the users, okay? And you can control it from there. So here I added this, for example, three users, sign them, you know, a few things. I'm still in the, in the beginning of working uh, inside this uh, new APPM, it's just a new installation. So we will go in details for all of this one by one, okay? So this was a very quick view and review of uh, uh, Primavera APPM. And here it's interesting when the global uh, security profiles and here you assign uh, security privileges uh, for everyone, similar to what it was in the professional if you have an admin uh, control inside it and uh, administration, an administrator user uh, privilege inside the professional uh, uh, revision. So this is the global uh, security profiles and you have the administrator and you define their task, you know, as we know it and before, but still it's easy to do. And uh, you define it by controlling and privilege to codes, to global data, to resources, to templates, to tools, to view and reports, as, as we have it before with some extra features also. The same, there is a global security profiles and there is project security profiles. And of course, there is also a resource uh, security uh, profiles, which is in the resource side, okay? Uh, but this is the main ones. It's a global and the projects and there is the resource uh, administration. In the project security profile, it's all about projects. And here you define uh, who control what inside these projects and you give access uh, to users uh, accordingly, according to their projects. You can assign it to, to certain projects and give them uh, certain uh, access and certain data to work around it. So that was the very fast description of what is inside uh, Primavera B6 APPM 18.8. We will try to do some training on the APPM However, that was in the that, that will be in the future because we want the people to work with us uh, first on the professional revision, which has also uh, uh, some controls and it has uh, a lot of good features and fast ones comparing to the ABPM. ABPM 
speed is always about your machine and servers and connections okay so and the, because we use to work inside app uh, professional revisions it's faster for us and easier to work inside it but for presentation for big organizations for remote access eppm is the solution eppm is the future even with the cloud uh, solution now from primavera uh, from oracle it becomes must to jump to the web uh, uh, to the web-based system and start to become familiar with it so you can work within the cloud systems too of course we still need the professional revisions because it's still easier it's a client users you can't give everyone access to the clouds unless uh, you need it to uh, it's still a new technology in the cloud systems uh, big companies still thinking about it but it's the future and you, sh you should start familiarize yourself with what is inside it and let your uh, staff also work on it step by step. So when they jump to the cloud completely, you are ready to do, take the new technology without disruption to your operation. Thank you very much for watching. This is Ziad Al-Basir and most welcome.